We're going to be talking a little Facebook ads and we're going to talk specifically, I'm going to show you how to set up pixels inside of your Facebook ads, inside of your Facebook business manager. If you don't already have a Facebook business manager set up, I highly recommend that you do go set one up. It's free. And what it's going to do is allow you to house everything in one dashboard under, under one roof, multiple Facebook pages, multiple Instagram accounts, multiple ad accounts, however many people you want to add to handle your stuff, or if you want to share access to an agency, or if you're working with clients, if you're going to be doing that sort of stuff, if you're really going to be doing Facebook ads and Instagram ads, I recommend that you just create a Facebook business manager account. And then also by doing that, you're going to be able to create up to 100 pixels inside of a Facebook business manager account. If you need help with setting one up and you need a good walkthrough tutorial to help you get familiar and to help you master the insides of the Facebook business manager, then go check out the videos I've made, tutorials I've made all about the Facebook business manager, its features, how to use it. Just to make sure we're covering the basics here and we all know what we're talking about, uh, what is the Facebook Pixel? It's an analytics tool that allows you to measure the effectiveness of your advertising by understanding the actions people take on your website. So when you run ads to people and you have the Pixel installed, Facebook is going to keep track of through the Pixel who clicked on your ad, what they did on your website, did they add product to cart, did they initiate a checkout? Did they actually make a purchase? If they made a purchase, did they make that, was that purchase profitable for you? How much did they spend? How much did it cost you to get them to make that purchase? All of that data, sorry, all that data, you're gonna be able to get that back and that's going to be because of the pixel. So basically the pixel's doing some big brother stuff on, on all the people that you run ads to and send to your website. It's watching them, paying attention to them, all that sorts of stuff. And the reason that's important and helpful for you is one, it's gonna let you know, like I said right here, if your ads are effective, if they're profitable, if they're working. Are they converting? Are they making you sales? And is that happening profitably? The next thing the Pixel is gonna allow you to do is build audiences, custom audiences, and lookalike audiences. And it's also gonna allow you to create retargeting campaigns. So custom audiences, lookalike audiences. Let's say you send people to your website, you're selling a product, 100 people from the same country made a purchase on your website. Then you can say to um, the face, Facebook ads, to the Pixel, you can say, hey, here's a group of people, go find me a bunch more people that are exactly like this, these people. And since Facebook has a ton of data, it looks at those people and it goes and finds you other groups of people that are your ideal customer based off of this proven group of people that's a, the type of people that actually go and buy your product. And then retargeting wise, you're gonna be able to do things like say people add, added to their cart but they never actually made the purchase you could go in and you could retarget all the people that added to cart but never made a purchase say you ran a video ad and you want to go retarget everybody that watched a good majority of your video and retarget them and send them another ad or send them the same video again or however you want to set that up but retargeting different groups of people based off of uh, different data points on them. And over time, as you use the pixel more and you're able to give the pixel more data, which just happens through running more advertising, sending more people to your website, all that, the pixel gets smarter. It gets more data. It's able to understand that data better and then use that data more effectively to go find you more of your ideal customer and make conversions for you at a lower cost per conversion. In essence, making your advertising more profitable. So definitely got to have pixels in place and then you want to season them, build them, nourish them, feed them data so they can get smarter and better over time. So now how exactly do we set up a pixel? There's a few different ways, a few different places you can go to to create a new pixel. Uh, let's, let's just go and I'll show you where those are at. The first one, let's go. So we're inside of Facebook Business Manager. Come up here to the big drop down menu and just click on Business Settings. Over here in the left column, if you scroll down under Data Sources and then click on Pixels, this is where you can right here with this blue button add, you can create a new pixel, add a new pixel. It's also where using these options right here, you can add people like assign people to your pixel. You can assign partners to your pixel and you can also add assets to your pixel. People is just gonna be like people, users that you've added to your account. Partners is gonna be other ad accounts that you can assign to your pixel and to other things inside of your business manager and then add us add assets assets are things like your pages your ad accounts instagram accounts, stuff like that once you have a pixel here an asset you want to add to that pixel is whichever ad accounts you're going to use with that pixel so you'll just click add asset and then right here i've got ad account selected and then right here in this section is where you'll be able to select the ad account and then just click add and that's how you 
um, assign that pixel to that ad account or that ad account to that pixel, however you want to look at it. So let's say your pixel's been running and you want to actually go into your pixel and look at all the data that that pixel has been gathering. This is where, you, this is where and how you can do that. So go to your events manager. Um, and if your shortcuts are different right here because these are based on which ones you click into the most, just scroll down and like right here under manage business, we can find the events manager. And so this is what it'll look like. And you can use this drop down menu to switch between your different accounts. Um, so this account right here has this pixel. And if I click right here on this blue link, or if I click in this de on this details button, it'll take me to the same place, but you can get um, just like a general quick snapshot of some of the events and events, by the way, are, uh, as you can see right here, these are the events, page view, initiate checkout, view content, add to cart and purchase. There's some other events as well, but those are the main ones that it's showing us there. So those types of things, like when someone clicks the add to cart button, when someone clicks purchase, those are events and Facebook, the Facebook pixel is tracking all of those events. So I'm gonna click on details right here and show you what it looks like inside of here. So in this overview section, it's just that. Here's um, a graph, it graphs stuff out for you. And then here's a look at your different events and uh, if they've been active recently, how many events have occurred, that sort of thing. Okay, and then you've also got test events, diagnostics, history, and settings. Test events, we're gonna come back to in a second. I'm gonna show you kind of how that works. Uh, diagnostics, history, settings, you can go poke through that. That's, that's pretty self-explanatory there. And then also if we click analytics right here, and here's where you can take a much deeper dive, a much deeper look into the data that the pixel has been collecting. You see you've got just so much here, growth metrics, uh, engagement metrics, bounce rate, top web pages, purchase by device type, repeat purchase, gender, you've got all the data that you probably want, it's probably in here. Okay, and another place where you can go set up a pixel, uh, create a new one, is, if, is when you're setting up a campaign inside of your ad set, when you're setting up a campaign, that's where you can uh, create a new pixel. So I'm gonna jump over here to an, my ads manager and I'm gonna act like I'm creating a new campaign. So if I go create, I'm gonna choose a conversions campaign. I'm not gonna worry about really filling stuff out here. Okay, so right here in the ad set section uh, and then in the conversion section of the ad set section is where we can create a new pixel. So if you already have a pixel set up and you're inside of the ad account that that pixel is connected to, then your pixel will already show up right here and, then, and you'll just choose which event type you want it to track for this ad set. In this case, no pixel set up, so we'll go create new pixel. I'll just leave that name like that. You can check your website for easy setup options. Uh, you, can, you can just skip that because I'm gonna show you what that's about here in a second. I wanna set up the pixel now. Okay, so what you will most likely want to do is use this first step here, which is add code using a partner integration. So if you're, any, if you're using any of the well-known common website builders like Shopify, Squarespace, WordPress, uh, I don't know, whatever other ones, those are the main ones it mentions right here. But then it, it makes it really easy to place the pixel on those websites. Uh, if you're not using one of those or any of the other ones that exist inside of the partner in integration option, then you'll want to manually add pixel code to your website. So if I click that, um, you'll just, they lay out the instructions pretty cl clearly here. So just give them a good follow and you should be able to install your pixel without any problem. But these would be the steps if you want to install manually. But like I said, and most likely you're going to be using a website builder that allows partner integration. So just give this one a click and then it'll bring you to this page right here and you'll just select whichever uh, website builder you've used. So let's say in this case it's Shopify. So I give Shopify a click and then really easy, just follow the instructions. The main thing you're gonna do, follow the instructions to figure out where you need to place this ID. But what you need to do is grab this pixel ID right here. Just copy that, Command C, and then following the instructions here, just go to the online store section for Shopify click on preferences, scroll down, paste in the code right there, and then click save. And that's on the back end of your Shopify website. Once you've done that, just come back here, click continue. And then it's likely gonna give you the option to test events. So I said we'd come back to that, so we're there now. So I'm gonna come over here and click on test events. So remember that events are the things that Facebook is tracking on our website, like what, did someone click add to cart? Did someone initiate a checkout? Did someone add their payment info? Did someone purchase? Those are all events that Facebook is gonna track that, the pixel is gonna track. And so test events is just testing to make sure that the pixel is installed and working and tracking those events as they occur. So we are gonna use this section right here and throw on our website and use that. But before we do that, I want you to grab a tool called the Facebook Pixel Helper. You can just Google that, Facebook Pixel Helper. 
can even spell it wrong like I did. Just give this a click right here. It's just a Google Chrome extension. And so it'll just add right here to your extension bar. So just, um, I already have it installed, so that's why it's saying remove. But right there, it'll have an install option for you. So just get that installed. We'll come back to that in just a second. All right, so now back over here in the pixel. So throw in your website URL right here and click open website. And apologies if I end up blurring this website here, but we'll be, I'll be able to show you exactly what we need to. And the Facebook pixel helper, once you have it installed, is this icon right here. And so just if I'm on this page and I give it a click, so if it's working, it'll show me the pixel name, the pixel ID right here, and then it'll show me a few different uh, tabs right here and whether or not those are working. So this is a the event that this page is that the pixel is tracking right now on this page is a page view because those are the events that exist on this page is just a page view um, and then it's got the microdata automatically detected so when things are set up properly this is exactly what that looks like now if i click on this order online now button right here that'll take us to the shop page and if i click on the facebook pixel helper again looks good page view microdata automatically detected Okay, so I'm gonna click into a product now and I'm gonna click the Facebook Pixel Helper. Looks good again, page view, microdata, and then there's a view content uh, event on this page that that has now successfully tracked. I'm gonna grab a flavor right here and I'm gonna click add to cart. And so this should track an add to cart event now. And it looks like it did come back up here, click on the Pixel Helper. So page view, microdata, view content were already there, it looked good, and now we've got add cart and button click automatically detected. So that event was successfully tracked. Now, if I click into the cart, like I'm gonna actually go check out. Now we wanna see if initiate checkout um, and ultimately purchase. I'm not gonna go through a purchase here. Uh, you might want to actually go through a purchase and make sure it works and then just refund yourself. But it's really likely that if everything up to the purchase has worked, it should work, especially if you use the partner integration to set things up but it, just to be extra safe, you might wanna double check that and just refund yourself. I'm not gonna do that right now, but if we come back up here to the Pixel Helper, we'll get the page view, microdata automatically detected. If I click checkout, we should see an initiate checkout uh, successfully tracked in the Pixel Helper. Give it a click again, and we've got page view, initiate checkout, microdata automatically detected. So it's looking good. It's looking like this Pixel is set up and active. And now with the Pixel successfully installed, successfully tracking events, you can run ads, have all of that being tracked, get all of that data back and see very clearly if your ads are successful, if they're profitable, what events are happening, how, like, what are people doing? And then also the Pixel is gonna be gathering data as all of that's occurring as you're running ads, people are going to your website and purchasing. And then as soon as it's gathered enough data, you can create, like I talked about earlier, lookalike audiences and retargeting campaigns, both of those extremely power powerful, especially the lookalike audiences where you just have a, enough data to where Facebook can go find you other groups of people based off of that data that are very similar, very closely related, very likely to be your ideal customer.